Well, listen, that, that brings me to this question, right? The whole world's watching. What happened at the end of the show? Tell me, tell me what resulted from you going on this show. Let's start with you, Phil. So at the very end, when I, when I got to the stage where I, I really wanted to commit to Phoebe, I went down there, um, you know, down that beautiful pathway, beautifully landscaped. It said, marry me. There was a, there was a bonfire. There was excellent alcohol there. I think there was Don Perignon. I'm not really sure. And it was a vibe. And, and actually, I was emotionally detached. I went in there going emotionally detached because I don't want my heart broken. But through the process, I did find a connection Weird, with you're Phoebe. wearing a heartbreak shirt. Exactly. I'm wearing the heartbreak shirt because I honestly, me and Phoebe are still very good friends to this day. We still talk. But when I was about to propose, I so many things are going on through my mind. And I was like, you know. I wrote this beautiful is, poem. I wrote this beautiful I poem. <laughs> is, is, is this too short amount of a time to actually oh ask somebody to marry me? And I, and Where I, did you get the inspiration to write a poem? Christopher. <laughs> no <laughs> shot. Yes, I copied him for sure. Stop <laughs> it. At least you admit it. Thank you. Uh, the bromance, honestly, man, we're a team. So like what it, what's his is mine. So <laughs> of course. he can't be too selfish. I love it. I love it. And, you know? Oh but listen, God. I helped him with, like, the first line, and then they were like, you got to get out of the room. Yeah, they, they separated us. The bromance, the love was too strong. For cosmic love, it was more infinite love between us. So I guess infinite love kind of conflated the whole cosmic New love series scene. starting next year. Infinite. infinite love. Two bros who couldn't fuck girls from the show. <laughs> oh, couldn't fuck enough girls. I honestly, I don't want to say too much, but I, I, I. You've said it all. I made my rounds. Um, Give me over under, over under three girls Let's on the show. That story, I'm not. I cannot. Uh, yeah, say. no. We have to finish the story. We okay. Don't. So basically, I th so many thoughts are going through my mind, but through the experience, even though it was a short amount of time, I, without a cell phone, without my support system, Phoebe was my now Chris, because I was separated from Chris. I didn't see him in about a day and a half. So I was like, holy fuck, what do I do here? And I, I almost really did feel a connection at that point, as you guys could see on the show, that we truly did bond and she was a Leo and I believed in my match. So that- like You let your walls down, finally. I man. let my walls down and through, through the environmental factors, through me letting go of my ego, through her letting go of her ego, we both kind of were, were in tune with each other's energy. We were present with each other and I felt like it was the right thing to do. And as you could see during the show, she kind of pauses and she thinks about it. I think she made a mistake, bro. I think she didn't let her wall down. And she gave you so much shit in the beginning for you not doing it. That's hypocrite shit, bro. It is. And honestly, nothing but respect for Phoebe. She's amazing. But where there was that double standard and where she was saying that people were deviating from the task, well, why was the task identified as if we went to another single, we were bad guys, but they were allowed to see four other people? Isn't that, exactly. isn't that essentially yeah. cheating? The double standard again. But when we did it, when we weren't even Why really- Why do you think I got so pissed? When we weren't even really, you know, hooking up per se in the first couple of weeks. I mean, actually, I don't know, day two of me and Morgan. But the first couple of weeks, we weren't really hooking up. It was more like we were just trying to get to know each other and like being friendly. They almost got triggered in the sense and they're like, oh, you guys are deviating from the task, which is trusting in this social experiment, not falling in love, in real life, like we all do, based on physical attraction, emotional bondage, you know, spiritual beliefs, just how you guys approach girls. We were supposed to trust in the stars through cosmic love that our compatibilities are going to lead to a great, long lasting relationship. So you had to trust it and identify this process as being true and authentic and just go for it, even if you didn't feel that instant bond right away. That's why when she friend zoned everybody, wow, it was like, actually fat, why, bro, why were you on that? Why were you on that show in the first place? That's why David, the punk rock star, is like, why are you even here? So people were very offended by that. And the reason I spoke up during that one scene and I said, this girl's ego tripping is because right before, she was like, "Yeah, I'm so into you." Blah 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 blah. Well, tell we, tell them what tell them what she said when you asked her the question in the Venus Vault. So we went down to the Venus Vault after it said that I freaked out. It says Phil freaks out when Phoebe friends with everybody. Uh, the reason I freaked out is because me and Morgan weren't really dating, but we were so compatible. Morgan was actually asking people, you know, Amazon, "Hey, and the Astro Twins, are we compatible?" So I almost felt more well, of a. She was all, it was. It was also. It was also the fact that she. We didn't know at that point whether singles could go on dates. Right, right. We weren't like we weren't told it. of this information. So we were we were just kind of exploring and, and bonding with other people because the elements were locked away for so long we weren't even allowed to talk to them. So 
Phoebe, essentially, when she friends on everybody, it's like I told her in the Venus Vault where we walk downstairs and Chris is um, identifying the issues and Phil, what's wrong? I actually posed a question to Phoebe. Hey, what's going on here? Why are you doing this? They forgot to put in the clip where I said, if this was an abandoned island, you know, you could choose one thing. I said, if there were three perfect matches, Darren, me, and Caleb. because that's David. No, David wasn't there anymore. Yes, he was. Oh, he was still there? Yeah. Oh, David was still there. I was yeah. like, who, who, who would you pick? Who even is David? Who even is David? Right. Phoebe, <laughs> shout out Phoebe. <laughs> Ego tripping Phoebe. 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 Ego tripping Phoebe. That was a little mean. Did he have like a minute? I said, I said. I think he was a mole. I said, who would you pick? <laughs> who would you pick? Because behind the scenes, me and Phoebe were connecting more so than any other matches, more so than Darren. Oh, yeah. We were bonding on a spiritual level on... You know, you guys were actually doing something that's very strong in relationship building that a lot of people don't know. Don't about, do. Is where at first you you conflict. Exactly. That and is one of the most powerful relationship Tony. building tools. In the Tony. World. Oh, and so, the, so, and Tony. you were the only ones who did it. Tony. You know, Tony. You conflicted. Him and, Tony. To say to Tony to reiterate what you're saying though, like, I oh, asked yeah. I asked Phoebe. I said if there were three guys, I'm mean, sorry, four guys, all of your matches on Bandon Island, and like you had no lifelines, you had no access to food, water. Who would you pick? She said, obviously you. Oh, where was that, Amazon? 